just flew to Peebles, Ohio. Mm -hmm. But how often do you think about the jet engines on a plane when you fly? I, I think about them all the time. Almost every time I fly, but I have never seen one up close. Okay, well, you're about to. And we'll even get to see them test one. Awesome! Have you? <gasps> Dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, hey, what's Hi. going on, guys? Glad you can make it. I'm Chachi. Nice Hi, to meet you. Ellie, nice to meet you. Welcome to Peebles Test Operation. This is actually uh, the final assembly and test facility for our engines. Our whole campus is 7,000 acres. And we actually, we use about enough jet fuel here to be able to fly to Mars and back six times. No. <laughs> yeah. Right now, you guys are actually standing inside our large engine production building. And uh, I got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys today. So if you're down, let's let's kick off this tour. Let's yeah. start. All right. Let's explore. Can we touch things? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, just to give you guys a little sneak peek uh, of the size of the engines that we work on here. From a distance, I thought this was a piece of an engine but this is actually separate pieces of an engine. These are actually just the fan blades. They haven't even been put on the engine. Can I, can I? Go ahead. This is like don't a drop it. I, okay, I promise I won't drop it. <gasps> is it light? It weighs about 40 pounds. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's really light. <laughs> <laughs> so all of those go into here. Yep, they have to go in a specific spot to make sure the engine balances. What happens if the engine doesn't balance? There's too much vibration in the engine, that's a lot of energy loss on it. And it's energy spent on something other than thrust. Other, other than right. flying your airplane. It never gets boring working in here. No. This stuff's awesome. Got another piece to show you guys that goes on the front of our engine. Uh, it's a pretty iconic piece. These are the spinner cones that go on the front of the engines. You guys can actually pick it up and look at it. Really? Can we? Yeah. <gasps> okay. <gasps> oh, look at that! There's a swirl. Why is the swirl even here? I mean, other than looking adorable. The swirl is actually there so that the ground crew at the airports know when the engines are on. Oh, serious? Yeah. And you guys want to see one up close that's yeah. completely assembled? Yes. Let's go. So here we got a fully assembled engine. Oh. <laughs> this whole back part, that's the main propulsor. That's where the air gets compressed, fuel gets injected, and pushes this thing forward. This is the engine with the blades and the spinner cone, everything assembled on it. Whoa. So beautiful. Give it a big spin. That's cool. <laughs> I'm mesmerized by the shape of the blades. Actually, the shape of the blade is so distinctive that uh, one of the blades is in the Museum of Modern Art. We're making art here. That's really awesome. Totally, totally, I'm, I'm in. I buy it. <laughs> so what, what's next? Next? Actually, so we got to get this thing prepped for test, load it on a truck. Let's run this thing. Now we're gonna get to see where the real magic happens. And we're gonna run this thing through a bunch of tests. <gasps> <Whoa. laughs> oh man, look at that. This is amazing. Wow. Okay, so first question, Chachi. Like, what kind of test is this? Like, what's happening in here? So today you guys are actually gonna get to see an acceptance test to make sure the engine's up to standards for our customers. So we actually run it at maximum power just to make sure it's gonna hold up to whatever they throw at it. How long does that take? Uh, it's gonna take about eight hours. Wow. You guys are gonna be here for a while. I hope you brought lunch. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> this is the uh, largest elevator I've ever been on. Yeah. Don't fall. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yeah. This is it, man. This is it. It's just enormous. That is for what? This is actually the exhaust. That's the exhaust. This is basically a giant muffler. A muffler? Oh. <laughs> Echo. Oh. If you guys were the ones running the test, I think we'd spend a little too much time just yep. having fun with all this. That's exactly how that would go. So can we fire it up? Let's go. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Control Central. Oh, oh my. This is our test guru, Seth. He's going to be guiding you through the whole test process. Nice to meet you. Can we start the test? Let's do it. All right. Once the fan speed hits a certain speed, you push this forward, and it'll introduce fuel. Really? And do you want to do it? It's all you. Really? Yeah, I can tell. This, is, this one's all you. Okay. All right. <laughs> tell me when, Seth. Let her rip. Push this one up push forward. Push her forward. Slowly? <laughs> right, just one big solid push. There you go. Uh, are you also kind of breaking this in like a shoe? Yeah, I was wondering that same thing. You know? Because this is the first time that all of these parts have run, so it's the first time you got certain metals rubbing together, so we actually have to break it in slowly before we ramp it up. 
Not good for your car, not good for your jet. No. <laughs> Where does this test fit into the process? So this is actually uh, the last test that gets run on the production engines before we ship them out to the customer. So this is the end of the line. It's the icing on the cake. It's the icing on the cake. I can actually take you guys back down to the other building and we can uh, see what it's like shipping one of these things out of here. Let's do Ooh. it. And this is like putting pants on an elephant. You got it? Yeah, I think that's you the did last it. one. Look well done. That. Good job. Bye. It's so bittersweet. <laughs> See you at 30,000 feet, buddy.